In this Photoshop tutorial, I'm going to show you how to convert a JPEG to a PNG in Photoshop. So let's open up the JPEG you want to convert. When you're here in Photoshop, you could just go up to File, down to Open. Now we're going to navigate to that JPEG. Here it is right here, the one, the sample one that we're going to open. And we're just going to open it up. There's something important here you need to know. If you just go save this, so whether you click Save As or to Save Image Files, you probably need to click Save a Copy, you might not even see PNG as an option. And there's a reason for that. It's called a color mode. And there's CMYK and RGB color modes that are the most common. We can change those up in the image dropdown down to Mode. And PNGs have to be in RGB color mode because they're kind of like a digital file. And so RGB is what displays use. It's what we use for our digital content. So we're gonna click on RGB to convert this to RGB. Now it may say that you uh, have to okay that color mode conversion, and that's fine. Just click the dialog box and say okay when you convert it. Now we're gonna go back up to file, and I always go to save a copy. And then we're going to select the format, and now you see we have more formats available, including PNG. Now, we can embed this color profile if we want, or we don't have to. Honestly, it doesn't matter too much unless you know where you're going to be using this. And then we just hit save. Then you'll have some PNG format options. So you've got the largest file size, which is the fastest saving, or the smallest file size is the slowest saving. So if file size is important to you, you can click on this one to help compress that PNG, but I pretty much always keep it on this large file size and hit OK. Now you can see down here, it's a little bit slower to save this larger image, but it will save that as a PNG. And we could go open that up as soon as it saves. There we go. So Command O is the shortcut key for open. That's also Control O on Windows. And now you can see I have a JPEG and I have a PNG. They look identical, but the size is a little bit larger on that PNG than the JPEG. Let's see what the difference is when we actually save this as the smallest file size. So we'll save a copy. We'll make sure we select PNG again. Hit save. This time, well, we'll cancel that. We'll do version 2 here on the front end of that, so you can title it up here if you want to change the name. And then we'll hit save. And then we're going to do smallest file size press OK. So this is a slower save than the large file size because what Photoshop is doing is compressing the image so that it can be a smaller file size. Now I skipped ahead in the video because that took substantially longer to save, probably five times as long at least as the largest file size. Let's go back to open and we'll see what the difference is. So I'll be honest, this larger format PNG, it did not compress very much. I mean, one and a half megabytes. Compared to the JPEG size, I would probably not use the, the smallest file size uh, option unless you're working with a lot smaller things for web. So when you're talking about like, I'm trying to take something from one megabyte down to some amount of kilobytes, that's where I'd probably use that because the save time will not take three or four minutes like it did for me in this video, which thankfully due to editing, you didn't have to watch. But that is how you can convert a JPEG to a PNG here in Photoshop. You just have to remember that a lot, sometimes JPEGs are in CMYK color mode. And so you got to switch that before you go through the save as a copy, uh, save dialog window to save it out as a PNG.